Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bow video. On last weekend, my Dyson V11 that I've got probably for last four years broke down. And I just checked how much cost the new one. It will be close to 800 Australian dollars. I'm from Australia, so Australian dollars and it's a lot of money. And I started investigating what's going on with it. So what happened is, um, Everyone familiar that uh, when you hold Dyson vacuum cleaner, there's a trigger button when you start the vacuum. And I noticed that this became softer, 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 and to the point where you press it and vacuum either doesn't start or start and cuts out until it got to the point when I couldn't start it. So I believe it could be an electronic problem and I start Googling and I found the information and videos how to fix it. So I'm not making video how to fix it. I'm making video that I'll point out on the video that is really helpful. So I don't need to do another one, how to fix Dyson vacuum cleaner. The purpose of this video is give you confidence that you've got a little bit of technical skills, not much, uh, and you've got right tools. You can save yourself $800 and buy a part, and I will show you what's the problem with the part that broke. It's a common problem. It's, it's so many Dysons die that way. Uh, the part costs between uh, 10 to $40. So uh, the video that I will show in the description below, that's where I found most of the information, but the part that guy offering in that video is in America. So if you're in America, well done, you can order from the guy and you give him a, a, a bit of, uh, you know, uh, thank you for his uh, brilliant video of how to fix it. But if you're in Australia and uh, you don't want to wait for part for two months to arrive, you need it immediately. I receive it next day from Amazon. I was just about to open the envelope up. Uh, so the part is that trigger and what happens here, let me quickly disassemble it. I'll show you closer to the camera. So when you disassemble the trigger uh, and you pull it out, you see when you press the button, the lever triggers the uh, contact within a trigger itself. And with the use, it starts kind of breaking that part. So it's, it's really a shame that Dyson did not design it well and because it's such a big problem they could recall and give people confidence and replace it for free but they don't and my vacuum is out of warranty. So this is the part that you need at the end of the day to replace and that part costs between 10 to 40 dollars. Depends if you go with more or less reputable supplier. All the suppliers that I believe in are put down below, as well as a toolkit. If you don't have tools to disassemble it, there are special tools. Nothing special about Philips, but you need torque. I think it's a T8. I verify and put link down below. And you also need uh, pliers. So why do you need uh, Phillips? Because most of the screwdriver screws are Phillips. And I'll show you how many screws are there. I've got my toolkit and I kept all the screws in. It's a lot of screws, a lot of things to unscrew. So majority of them, I'll say 80% Phillips, but very specific screws are Torque T8. And you need special tool if you don't have it, you need it. But also the tool like that would not be sufficient enough because if you go on into the uh, last bit, which is hold the trigger inside the holder, it's, it's inside there and the tool getting stuck and it's a thick enough that cannot get in. So you need the thinner version of T8, something like that. Uh, and again, links will be down below. So what's the point of this video? First of all, to give you confidence that a uh, little part and you can fix it. The second to tell you that you do, you can fix it. Well, you know what? If you cannot fix it, if you're just about to chuck $800 vacuum cleaner, uh, you better give it a go. So the most you've got to lose is $30 for the part. So let's open up this envelope because the seller that sold me uh, this one, he reckons it's reinforced one. So it's a quick video to uh, compare to Dyson original part to what Amazon has to offer as aftermarket. So quickly cut the envelope and see what's inside. 
and wow it's nicely neatly packaged uh, trigger so let's open it up and see what they've got there so uh, I would say uh, when they call reinforced okay I see what they mean by reinforced so look at this so this is original uh, Dyson one so there's a, no reinforcement just little top of the plastic and it broke where that uh, thicker part finishes and a new one is actually much thicker as you can see right so the new part not only better but also cheaper than original one so the point of this video is you can do it I'll show you where to get part if you don't have tools follow the links down below get the tool and you end up uh, doing this so this assembly takes around between half an hour to an hour if you're not skilled may take a little bit more than an hour it took me approximately I think 40 minutes and assembly probably would take me another hour so you can do it links down below and also link for whole video of the guy actually doing this uh, will be down in the description as well so thank you so much for watching Greg from Brisbane Australia Hope this video was helpful for someone. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, like it. It's up to you. Uh, I really appreciate you watching. Until next time.